1 Chronicles chapter 23 So when David had grown old and full of days, he appointed his son Solomon as king over Israel. He gathered all the leaders of Israel, along with the priests and Levites. The Levites, thirty years old and above, were counted, and the total number of them, man by man, was thirty-eight thousand. Of these, twenty-four thousand were appointed to oversee the work of the house of the Lord, six thousand served as officers and judges. Four thousand were gatekeepers, and four thousand praised the Lord with the musical instruments that David had made for giving praise. David organized them into divisions according to the sons of Levi, Gershon, Kohath, and Merari. The sons of Gershon included Ladan and Shimi. The sons of Ladan, Jehiel, Zetham, and Joel, three in total. The sons of Shimi, Shelemith, Haziel, and Haran, three. These were the chiefs of the families of Ladan. The sons of Shimi, Jehath, Zena, Jush, and Bariah. These four were the sons of Shimi. Jehath was the chief, and Ziza was the second. However, Jush and Bariah had not many sons, so they were counted as one family in their genealogical registration. The sons of Kohath included Amram, Izar, Hebron, and Uzziel, for in total. The sons of Amram, Aaron and Moses. Aaron was set apart to consecrate the most holy things, to offer sacrifices before the Lord, to minister to him, and to pronounce blessings in his name forever. As for Moses, the man of God, his sons were counted among the tribe of Levi. The sons of Moses, Gershom and Eliezer. The sons of Gershom, Shabuah was the chief. The sons of Eliezer, Rehabiah was the chief, and Eliezer had no other sons, but Rehabiah had many descendants. The sons of Azar, Shelemith was the chief. The sons of Hebron, Jeria was the chief, Amariah the second, Jehaziel the third, and Jechamim the fourth. The sons of Uzziel, Micah was the chief, and Ishia the second. The sons of Merari, Mali and Mushi. The sons of Mali, Eliezer and Kish. Eliezer died and had no sons, only daughters. Their kinsmen, the sons of Kish, married them. The sons of Mushi, Mali, Eder, and Jerimoth, three in total. These were the Levites according to their families, the heads of families, counted individually by name, who performed the work for the service of the house of the Lord, from twenty years old and upward. For David had said, The Lord, the God of Israel, has given rest to his people, and he resides in Jerusalem forever. Also, the Levites no longer need to carry the tabernacle or any of its articles used in its service. For by the last words of David, the Levites from twenty years old and above were counted because their duty was to assist the descendants of Aaron in the service of the house of the Lord, in the courts, in the chambers, in the purification of all holy things, and in the work of the service of the house of God, including the showbread, the fine flour for the grain offering, the unleavened wafers, the baking, the mixing, and all measures of quantity and size. They were also to stand every morning to thank and praise the Lord, and likewise at evening and to offer all burnt sacrifices to the Lord on the Sabbaths, at the new moons, and at the appointed feasts, according to the number required for each day, and to care for the regular showbread, the offering of the grain offering, the daily burnt offerings, the Sabbath, the new moon, the appointed feasts, and the holy things, and to make atonement for Israel, according to all that is commanded by the law of the Lord. David said to the Levites, the Levitical leaders, to appoint their relatives as singers and to have them raise their voices with joy accompanied by musical instruments, harps, lyres, and cymbals.